Turning to weather right now, let's bring in meteorologist Paul Hagan. I mean, it's going to be a chilly one again tonight. It is going to be cold tomorrow morning, maybe even a couple degrees colder than we were this morning and similar conditions again Friday morning. I think tomorrow is going to be the coldest morning overall, but another freeze warning goes into effect late tomorrow night, continuing into early Friday morning. Then temperatures gradually warm up as we head into the weekend. Our afternoon temperatures are gradually going to warm up tomorrow and Friday. We just drop off at night once again. Very slight rain chances farther down the line in the seven day forecast. Nothing too impressive, but just hopefully some signs that maybe the weather pattern is going to become a bit more active as we head into March. Right now, clear skies and light winds overhead. Combine that with the already cold air mass in place. It's an ideal recipe for temperatures to just drop quickly, and we've already fallen down into the mid to upper 30s, except for the low to mid 40s in San Jose in San Francisco. But Oakland's already down to 39 degrees. It's 34 degrees in Livermore and Santa Rosa, and temperatures are going to continue falling. We have the freeze warning in effect for all inland parts of the Bay Area. This goes into effect at 2 a.m., continues till 9 a.m. That's for both tomorrow and again Friday with a frost advisory for the North Bay Coast, down the peninsula and into the Santa Cruz Mountains, and around most of the Bay. The only place that's not under a frost advisory or freeze warning, the city and county of San Francisco. Everybody else expecting temperatures to at least be near freezing around the Bay and below freezing farther inland. Let's take a look at those specific low temperatures. The coldest spots are going to be in the mid to upper 20s in the valleys of the North Bay and the interior East Bay. You'll be the cold spots tomorrow morning. Temperatures, though, around San Jose dropping to near freezing, freezing in Fremont, and close to freezing around the Bay. 40 degrees in San Francisco, low 40s in Pacifica, but probably dropping down to the mid-30s around Half Moon Bay, so even some coastal spots are going to be near freezing to start the day on Thursday. Comparing tomorrow morning's forecast low temperatures to record territory, some spots are going to stay above the record. Some spots are going to be awfully close, like San Francisco. While the city's going to be one of the warm spots on the map, it's still good enough for a record, hitting 40 degrees, tying that old record. Santa Rosa likely to break another record tomorrow morning, and Livermore is going to be close, dropping down to the upper 20s, while the record low temperature is in the mid-20s. But then our temperatures do bounce back. A couple degrees warmer than today. Still below average on the order of 5 to 7 degrees below normal, but farther up into the 50s. Mid to upper 50s tomorrow. No 60s on the high temperature forecast map yet on Thursday. But we are going to see more of a mix of upper 50s and low 60s on Friday. And then mostly 60s on Saturday. If you're going to be heading up to the high terrain to take advantage of the new snow, almost two feet of new snow accumulation this week at Kirkwood. Ideal conditions there. Lots of sunshine tomorrow. Temperatures are going to be on the chilly side in the high country, too. All the lifts are open, machine groomed conditions. And finally, those machines have some fresh snow to, find, to uh, groom and Make for better conditions overall. Temperatures are going to warm up as we head into next week. The warmest day is going to be Tuesday. Some passing clouds overhead on Sunday and some more passing clouds on Wednesday. If those clouds are going to drop a shower on us, it's likely to be north of the Golden Gate and right along the coast. Those chances do not look overly impressive at this point on the order of 20 to 30 percent. Something we'll keep an eye on, especially once we get past the cold weather pattern that's still with us for the next couple of nights.